so let's discuss who are company's competitors so the competitors may be uniqlo topshop gap h&m asos forever 21 channel benetton group and finally louis vuitton after that we have how does competitive rivalry competitive behavior competitive dynamics affect the company so let's discuss competitive rivalry the action which any company takes to respond its competitors is called competitive rivalry like sales discount by gap and hm could affect zara company in drop of their sales competitive behavior the actions taken by the companies to sustain its competitive advantage over its rivals and try to maintain its position in market is called competitive behavior like zara is doing differentiation strategy competitive dynamics the action taken by the company in order to respond to market conditions so here if market changes the preference of customers change the restrictions on the industry changes they must respond accordingly when zara responds with discount also this will be competitive behavior competitive behavior or they could introduce new fashion in the industry or go online or go to new market the value chain is a business model that defines a variety of activities to manufacture a product the purpose of value chain is to increase efficiency and decrease the cost of production so company could deliver maximum value to buyers after that we have develop a competitive profile matrix known as cpm so we have considered three companies in it zara uniqlo and topshop and we have some critical success factors like time short efficient distribution centralized distribution center so we have given weights and ratings and then we have the total scores in which zara has 2.4 score which is apparently higher than others after that we have develop external factor evaluation matrix also known as efe matrix so we have considered key factors like opportunities in opportunities we have globalized online shopping asian market interest and in threats we have trend change economic crisis imitator competitors global competition and the final score of zara is 3 after that we have develop an internal factor evaluation known as ife matrix so firstly we have two things in it strengths and weaknesses so in its strengths we have retail uniqueness delivery time efficient distribution quick delivery and finally in the weaknesses we have hard to predict customers prefer no any money on advertisement centralized distribution and finally the score of the company is 2.7 after that we have developed have developed an ie matrix known as internal external matrix so as previously we have given the scores to them so this falls in high and weak category after that we have the quantitative strategic planning matrix known as qspm and after that we will be recommending the options based on the qspm so what we have done we have two strategies in it enter to emerging markets and other one is increased global presence by online so we have considered same strengths and weaknesses which we used previously and we have given a scores to them like we have sub total of 2.71 in this category after that we have 
key external factors in the QSPM. So we have also considered same factors that we will use in external factors evaluation matrix and the score is 2.7 of the presence by online. After that we have the recommendations following the QSPM. So the recommendations may be they should go globally, they should imitate, they should go for online, they should maintain prices. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.